Hello, what's up? We're back. Standard deck tech with this deck that we call as the Aerial Orzob by Jedi, another of the user submitted list from MTG Goldfish website. And thank you again for that. And we took at the, this list which evolves around Iriat, the Charm Apple. So this is the showcase uh, anime version. So this is from the Wells and Rudin set. It is a 3 cast, one of any color or colorless, one white and one black, 2-4. Then you creature, human, warlock. So each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can attack you or planeswalkers you control. And then I believe your end step, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life for extra number of auras you control. So its ability is pretty much uh, basic since it's catering uh, white. So if you see it white, we have a lot of aura effects. For example, pacifism and uh, it's uh, somewhat uh, related uh, aura setup. So how do we check on this build? So we have here, that's a quick uh, rundown, it's uh, 7 creatures, that's a lot of enchantment, that's 29, with 24 lands at our disposal. So we're just going to go with uh, the uh, creature choices first. So we have 3 area of the Chamber Apple in the list, and we have uh, 2 copies of Dracula the Voyager, which is Edgar Cham Groom. So this one would just go with producing this one part tokens because of its ability that when it dies, return it to the battlefield transform. So when it transform, it goes with Edgar Markup's coffin. It is an artifact that when you upkeep, create a 1-1 one -one white and black vampire creature token with lifelink and put a bloodline counter on this uh, artifact. Then if there are 3 or more bloodline counters, you then remove those counters and then transform it. Transform it back to Edgar Charm Groom, which also gets an item effect to pump your other vampires you control. So with these 2 copies in the deck, we also have 2 copies of Rotten the Brick of Orborg. So this uh, creature choices from Dominaria United is uh, just a linear creature that has vigilance in ward 2. Other zombies you control have vigilance and whenever another the legendary creature you control dies, so you will create a copy that's a uh, token copy of the creature except that it's not legendary and it becomes a 2-2 black zombie in addition to its other types and uh, colors. So that means that uh, killing other your copies such as that of Iriat with the total break of Borbor in play which, uh, will get you a copy token that is a 2-2 version, a uh, zombie version of that of Iriat which still goes with abilities that uh, uh, copies all of these uh, triggers in whatsoever that's added. Now for the enchantments, since I mentioned that we are going to go with the pacifism effects, we have the these various uh, uh, aura choices that can go with the idiot's ability. So first off, we have two copies of Rafin's Guidance. This one to cast the enchant creature is person as well. And you may cast Rafin's Guidance from your graveyard by paying two and white rather than paying its mana cost. So it's in a way, you can just have this one uh, for one chip, but with the uh, uh, idiot in play, which means that uh, enchanted been an aura control, they can't uh, basically attack or attack you or place walk your control, which means that it becomes a one to cast uh, our effect that uh, can disable your uh, opponent's creatures. So, that with the uh, two copies, we also have two copies of Coop Up. So, this is more of an improved version of Pacifism. It goes with the same ability that you can uh, attack or block on the enchanted creature, but you can pay 3 to exile that uh, enchanted creature if needed. Then we also have two copies of Necrogen Communion. This is from Parisha will be one uh, Enchanted creature you control, the enchanted creature is toxic too. And then when the enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. So this is more of a utility aura, which means that in these instances that you will need to go with the toxic uh, ability with the poisoning them and poison counters, you can have to use this one. Then we have uh, four copies of Pacification, so this is more of the standard spot removal enchantment here in this deck because it can basically exile the creature or prince walker upon controls as long as it uh, enters the battlefield. So it is also an aura which means that it can also be added to the plus one of uh, Iriat's uh, TB uh, ability. So that Brain Life would also consider this card as one of these enchantments or auras. So we also have four copies of Planar Disruption. So what this does is that it can enchant Artifact Creature or Planeswalker and then Enchantment Permanent can attack or block and then activated abilities can be activated. This is one way also to disable uh, Planeswalker Shining Guns of your opponents. It can also be considered as an aura effect which can again uh, benefit you with the uh, triggered ability. Then we also have two copies of Brain Breaker's Grass. This is another aura that can enchant artifact or creature and then permanent can attack or block and its activated abilities can be activated unless they're mana abilities. So that's two copies. 
And we have another curse. This is an aura curse from Black Dots, a curse of leeches. Enchanted player uh, goes with the uh, transform to uh, curse of leeches. Uh, it can attach to the player, and then the enchanted player upkeep, they lose one life, and you will gain one life. So this one would also become an enchantment that can flip, which means that it can become a leeching lurker. So leeching lurker becomes a 4 4 lifelink and night bound. Then if it, if it goes with the day bound, it will become a curse of leeches. So that's a pretty peculiar card, but in a way that can become your win condition if ever you need a creature to attack your opponent. Then we have also four copies of winning announcement. So this is just a more of a gum of the board with these uh, tokens of human creature token with uh, also the card draw effects can later on become a wedding festivity with an anthem effect and uh, i think this is also an addition the white virtue from wilds of the rain that is virtue of loyalty you can create a token on its own and the remaining red step you can have also an enchantment wherein you can put a personal encounter on each creature you control and then on top of your creatures then we also have four copies of virtual persistence this is more of like a spot removal because of its lock twin scorn Target creature gets minus three, minus three, and a long turn you gain two life, and then you can cast it for seven. Where in the beginning of your upkeep, put target uh, creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. So more of a grave pack, or I mean, uh, a recursion effect from uh, creating from your graveyard, or mostly your that of your opponent. If ever you need to go with the mid game up to the late game as a gas for this deck. And last but not the least for this uh, lineup, for the lands we have twenty four lands. That's for the caves of Koilos. For Restless Fortress, this is the new man land included in the deck. This is also can produce white or black and can become a 1 4 white and black nightmare creature token. token. I mean, there's a creature until end of turn and can have your defending player lose one life and gain two life whenever it attacks. And then we have also the slow land uh, Shattered Sanctum as more of an additional fix. And with the basic lands, that's pretty much. Uh, aligned with six planes and six swamps in this setup. So this is like a very unique uh, list to go with our effects. It's more of a controlling but also can go well with winning with just an area in play that can basically have this trigger's ability to have your opponents lose X life uh, equal to the number of hours you control. And last but not the least for the average mana value, it's uh, the curve is going with 3.22 with four uh, mostly of the highest. The rest are just pretty much of the virtue mana cost whereas three is the average and two would be the probably in the cheapest with 14 because of these various auras that are just two to cast to have in the deck and the list will produce you to 23 black and 34 mostly of white producers are pretty much even with 18 each for this one and last but not least are tokens we're gonna have a copy token human token a night token for the virtue and a bumper token from that of Edgar charm group uh, effect to produce this kind of tokens so pretty much a very interesting list that you can try on your next grinding for mtg arena or mtg online if you have tried this list let's let me know in the comments of how the deck will turn out or what we can do or change or have more to improve this build uh, to align with the, that of area of the charm apples ability so i guess that's pretty much it for this deck tech thank you for checking this eight or so standard wild super drain deck tech by jedi and also don't forget to like subscribe so we can have more of this interesting list we can also discuss more of the top uh, tournament uh, results with the top decks uh, of the current uh, standard format with the recent results posted from mtg top 8 and although and also on mtg goldfish so I guess that's pretty much it guys, That's uh, the, thank you for checking this video and see you on the next one.